So I'm starting off with two sheets of 16 gauge 6 by 18 steel. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this entire thing. I'm going to bend it down the middle over my shin bone. And then I'm going to make a little arc right here so that when you bend it, there's a part for your um, foot to stick through. And then I'll figure out something out here with some extra sheet metal. Might have to cut a piece out of here. Maybe you have to bend those out a little bit and add on a, like a cap somehow. So I'm going to start drawing out the design on one and then just transfer it over to the other. So far what I have is the base of it, so that part is cut out. These are bent to 90 degrees, uh, uh, like parallel to the sides of my leg. And you can see that this curvature is a lot more condensed, like pulled in that way than this one since the leg tapers. Of course the angle is skinnier than the upper calf. And the main bend points are straight down the middle and about three quarters in, three quarter inch in from the side. And then I just bended these parts out a little bit. And yeah, that's about it for right now. So as of now, I have these marked out uh, left and right. So I'm going to use the example of the right leg. And since this is gonna be on my right leg, my leg will be in here like that and I'm going to make some marks for the straps that go around to hook this onto your leg and you know strap it in. The parts where the straps connect need to be on the inside for mine at least. The way I'm doing it is I'm going to have two leather straps, maybe three, I'm not sure yet, but um, a number of leather straps going around with a, with a little hole at the end of the strap that will hook around a little extrusion out of here, either a bolt or a rivet that comes out. Just extrudes a little bit and you can just kind of put the hole over it and that should keep it all together. Alright, now on the direct other side of this little slit, right in the middle of it on the other side, I'm going to draw a little dot about the same length from the edge as this. For both slits, of course. Now I'm going to drill these holes with a, this is, a, this is about a 3 16 drill bit and that's what I'm going to use to drill these two holes. Now I have these 3 16 inch bolts, the same as the drill bit, same size at least, and the nut. So I'll put them through here with the nut coming out from the inside and I will 
then put the nut on and tighten it. Now I'm going to trim these down so that the bolt and nut both uh, extend out about a half an inch. Now I'm going to make these straps. I'm just using some nylon straps, but for one, one uh, greave, I actually figured out what they're called. They're called greaves. I looked it up online. I'll cut for, I think about for each greave, you're only going to need about a foot. Doesn't need to be exact. Cut it, put one in through a hole, fold it over itself, and to attach it, attach it onto itself, there's a bunch of different ways. You can sew it, you can use a rivet and a washer, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, you can super glue it if you want to, I guess. So I have the, I have folded over and then a rivet put through and a little, little baby rivet washer. Well, a rivet gun or popper. I don't know what these are called actually. And then I'm just going to, okay. the heck? And then I'm just going to pop the rivet. All right, now I'm going to mark out the hole for the strap. So I'll put it, pull it to my desired tightness, and then take something on a pointy pair of scissors. These are good because they kind of bevel, you can see, so it will stretch out the hole. Now I'm going to take the strap, find the hole. Now I'm going to put it through and heat up the end of this nail. And I also might need a bigger nail. No, if you put, if you like circle it around, kind of move it around while it's in there, it will open up the hole a little bit. And now the strap has a nice and strong hole that isn't going to rip or tear or fray. Cut off the end of the strip. That might be a little tight, or not. I don't know. Oh no, that's good. Then I need to do this strap on this leg, and then the other leg, but you know, that's not going to be in the video. Now on both of the greaves, I'm going to cut out this little triangle here and here, just so that the top of my shoe and ankle can fit in. Also when I bend my foot up, it's not going to get stopped by this, and so my knee will fit into here, and I'll make another armor piece that comes up over that to guard the kneecap. Okay, so I have both the straps on both things done, and it fits well, but I feel when I move my foot side to side, kind of like angle it off my leg parallel, these are in the way, so I think I'm going to just cut these off and then just bend these out, because the, with this, this six sets down over the side of my foot, so I don't really need these anymore. Now I need to design, or just draw out a little template from wood from under this paper to cut out of some more 16 gauge steel that's scrap that will fit over this but also extrude out a little bit for my kneecap.
Okay, so next part is going to be attaching the padding on the inside because as of right now, I've worn it and then hit hit myself with a hammer and like this edge here, which I might round out anyway, it just it's like a shocking point. It kind of like pinches your skin when you uh, when you get hit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take edge of some really thin foam. It's like a millimeter thick, and then I'm going to clamp it on the ends push it down on the inside as best as I can and then use a marker or a pencil or something to mark on the outside <laughs> how can I do this where I'm going to cut it Now I'm going to fold it in half, and then finish up this edge. And then that fits perfectly on the inside, although I do have to trim those edges right there. Okay, so I just have one put on. Uh, I just thought might as well uh, connect it to how the bands or straps connect the little extrusion bolt here. I just, you know, used a washer, fender washer to hold on the foam. I'm gonna do this on either side, but obviously I'm going to have to drill two more holes over here as well. Okay, so I have the greave clamped up to the table, and I have three dots marked where I'm going to drill holes and then pop rivets to attach the foam to the greave. Now that my greaves are finished, I am one step closer to having a full suit of armor. <sighs> well, uh, in conclusion, uh, I like them. Uh, pretty proud of them since they're the first greaves I've ever made. But, uh, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.